there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Paul Kidwell. Welcome to the Geek Group. We're here today, once again, in the big main demonstration hall. And we've got, we got the table. We got the table. We finally get to use the table. Yes, and we get to make a mess. We do. It's good. I'm on the table. It's one of those videos. Yes. We haven't done this since like 2008. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been a while. Yeah. And there's a very famous video we did of the, it was like part 500 of the big KUKA Project Kevin disassembly. Mm -hmm. And the, the goop, the red the goop. goop. Everybody yes. remembers the red, the stinky red goo. Like, and well, we, we got something we got goo here. We got goop. This is, um, for I'm sure people out there are aware by now, we built a quarter crusher. And mm -hmm. it's awesome. And you should get one. Yes. And it makes these, which the audio guys freak out when I do that because I got my mic right there. But it makes these. And which are, this is a crushed quarter. It's about the size of a dime. And to do that, you have to generate a really big electromagnetic pulse. And that, the electricity for that pulse comes from pulse capacitors. So we have, we have these, and they're quite vicious. You god in a can, I mean, <laughs> a demon. Or... Tiny god in a can is, is a good descriptor. Yes. Now, when you charge a pulse capacitor, it puts the internal structure under a lot of stress, mechanical stress. And be, because everything's trying to wrench around and get, there, there's a lot going on. It's Lorentzian forces or? Lorenz, yeah. Lorenz, Lorenz, Lorenz forces. Lorenz there's, forces. There's a lot to it. There's yeah. Lorenz's law. There's, there's a lot of physics involved, and it's vicious. And that's why they put them in big, rough yeah, metal it's cans. Like a, it's like a NASA flowchart. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's NASA flowchart exactly stuff. It's exactly what it's like. Um, the capacitors are designed to handle so many pulses. They, they have a pulse lifetime. And the weird thing is when you're dealing with caps like this, they don't like being charged. When we charge up Stomper, we work very hard to get the actual charge time as short as possible so that the capacitor is only under all that stress for a very short amount of time. And it's got all the stress of being charged, and then we discharge it, which puts it under unimaginable stress because all that energy is rushing out and all the electromagnetic forces come to play and things are moving around and all that jazz. And then it swings back because it doesn't just dump all the energy down. It rings as all the energy goes back and forth and back and forth. And, and it, it, it's like letting go of a swing set. It doesn't just go, boom. It swings down like that. And it's, it's kind of like the backwards version of how Tesla coil works. Kind of. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not resonant, but it does ring. And it only rings a couple of times because the primary coil is the work coil around goes the coin. Away. Yeah. It, it vaporizes into plasma and goes from like 10 turns of wire to one turn of plasma in the blink of an eye. And there's, there's staggering things going on right there that we you really have had a lot of people writing in asking about, can we do a video on like the whole process of quarter shrinking and the details mm -hmm. of that? And we really should. We, we should do that soon. Oh, yes. OK. All right. So. The project today is we've killed one of these capacitors. Yeah, we did. We've let the magic smoke out. And it's like that steel, and it's, I can see from oh, here, yeah, it's, it's, it's domed. Oh, yeah, it's bowed. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Uh, it, it was bad. It um, looks like it lifted like There was a lot of smoke and, and really nasty black oil, and it was, it was a bad day. So what I want to do is autopsy one of these things, which is not going to be easy because it's welded shut. But we're yeah. going to cut the top off okay. and lift it right up. We'll just slide it because I... If anything's anchored in here, it's going to be anchored to the top. Right. So we'll cut the top off about an inch down, slide it out, drain off all the oil, and then show people the internal structure, slide which is it. probably going to be, for this cap, a bunch of little windings. It's, as I understand it, it's like a giant MMC before they had MMC. I've taken some apart before. We took apart one of the 60 kilovolt ones mm -hmm. that was dead. And internally, it wasn't little caps. It was smaller caps. It wasn't like one big cap. Right. But the smaller caps were the full length of the cap, and they were folded about this big. Okay. So I, I don't know what to expect. We'll have to see. But I think we uh, should glove up and start carving. Okay. We can do that. Well, we, we, I brought the meter out. Okay. Just on well, you, the off You chance. meter it and all that. Sure, it, it didn't come out dead when I checked it. Like, it's dead. I wouldn't hook it up, but it still had capacitance. So... How you doing? Can you, can you see our uh, screen there? Yeah, I can see it. It's a uh, 412. So this still is even with this microfarads. Nasty. It's still a capacitor. Uh, it's still yeah, but it's it's borked. Good. And it's we've had the safety wire on it for days. Now something to remember. You should teach people all about memory. Teach memory. people about capacitor memory and how it works and why it works and all that because that's neat stuff. 
That's you can do that while I glove up and get ready well, to cut. I gotta glove Unless up you want to well. cut. I'd say, no, you can you sure? cut. You, know, you don't want to tap your butt up um, on the table and start carving away? Capacitor memory. I just read on that last night, as a matter of fact. Uh, You're a fun I, date. Yeah, I'm a fun date, yes. I forget what I read. <laughs> so we won't talk about capacitor memory. You're a fun date and the Alzheimer's is kicking in. Okay, you know, whatever works. It's all right, I can't put a glove on. This side up, okay. Really? Front towards enemy. Yeah. No. Do I get safety glasses? I don't want that damn thing. Look at Who writes, what is this? Oh, good God, really? What? Somebody's written on the inside, hit points and ammo and a reticle. <laughs> so you've got your heads up, I am, no. Dude. <laughs> Can somebody please grab me just a pair of safety glasses? One of the nice ones. Jeff, you know the ones I like. Good ones. That's, that's a cutting wheel. So this is good. We took the guard off because it was a four inch thing. We got a six inch wheel, which is. So now your fingers are. We're right. putting 10 pounds of crap in a five pound bag and I'm going to lose a knuckle in the process because that's, that's totally safe. There, look at that here. Where are we at? We're over here. That's, that's totally safe. Yeah, had no way my hand could slide up into that. Don't try this at home. You know, I did something really similar with got? my first try at a uh, Thank rotor, you. rotary spark gap. Yeah, and you've got the scars to prove it. Yeah. I'd like to point out I'm wearing a nice sweater for this. You're wearing a nice, yeah, th that's not what you wanted to be wearing for this. It'll be all right. It'll be, It'll all be right. fine. All right, Paul, watch your, thank you. I'll get the Here, hit points. No, I got okay. the hit points displayed. You got hit points. Probably Maybe not, the reticle's in the wrong spot. Happens. They should be like up hey, here. Hey, Paul. Hey, what? There may be sparks. There may be sparks. Oh. oh, God. The goo comes spattering out it, at you? It's bleeding. I'm going to have this all over my pants by the time we're done. Yeah. Seeing the goo that's coming out of there, do you want to kind of put that in here? That might be a good idea. Bring, bring the thing over. Because there's no way this doesn't suck, but we can mitigate the suckage can, to some degree. We can degree. keep the suck inside something. All right, I'm going to need like an Enos or something. Who's big and burly? No, you need Superman. I need, I need something. I, there's no, I, you, know, you know what I need? I need McPhee. He just picked the damn oh, thing up. Because so I, I can pick it up, but I poop a little. Yeah, um, yeah. All right, here. You lift, I'll, I'll s Oh yeah, what could possibly go wrong? It'll be a good video. Okay, you ready? Go. I might poop a little. Go. Ah! Get in. Everybody watching at home just went, damn, he can pick one up. <laughs> did you, you poop a little? I, I may have pooped a little. Well, I know the cap certainly did. Okay, you can't walk around with the microphone cord. I can. I'm fine, I got my tail. If it was prehensile, I'd be one of the cool kids. Don't do that with Are my Are you done face. yet? I'm just getting I wouldn't want to rush you. You want to turn the cap so you're standing in the same spot? Oh man, it smells like hell's dumpster. Oh God. Oh, it's not fish oil. I don't know what it is, but wow, that Hold stinks. On. What are you doing? I'm trying to get under the camera so people can see. Oh yeah, because they want to, ah. There you go. It's a smell you can taste. Ah, beefy. Hey, Paul. I don't want to stay on there. How's that working out for you now? Not really great.
sucks. It's great. It's violent, Paul. Okay, I'm halfway there. I'm, get, I'm getting out of the blast radius over here. <laughs> Should come off. Okay. Hang on, let me let me check you. I'm liking the smoke coming out of the top. That's hot. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, now we're going to take a break for a moment, and we'll be right back after we clean up the impressive mess that I just it's made. Like, you, oh, it's like spatter. Oh, it's man. everywhere, man. It's on the wall. Look, Love my job. You can see where your foot was. <laughs> All right. You guys have fun. We'll be back right after this. Ever wonder how you could improve the world with just $1? At The Geek Group, we not only recognize the importance of the donations of our corporate sponsors, but also the private contributions from viewers like you that make the continuation of our dreams possible. With every single donation we receive, whether it's 20 cents, $20, or more, we come another step closer to making science, math, knowledge, and arts education more accessible to the entire world, and are further enabled to inspire new minds each and every day. Open your mind. For less, please visit thegeekgroup.org slash kickabook to make your donation today and watch how powerful even the smallest donation can be. All right, we're back. That was my manly intro there. You like that? I, we're yeah. back. How are we going to do this? I have no idea. <laughs> we just got to lift the top off. I mean, really, how hard can it be? It's not like it's heavy or awkward or anything. Um, I'm going to, okay, we don't, we don't need that. Gerber Ninja time. Get rid of this. Okay. Now, there's probably a connection for the ground. Or the not. Or oh, not. wow. Wow. Just wow. Oh, this is going to be cool. All right, here, take that. Enjoy. All right. With there's, my blessings. There's sir. nothing on the top. There's of nothing this on the top no, inside. No. We just learned that. We've got a ring, nylon. And we have yeah, it's not now on an oil-soaked paper goo. Oh, and um, hey, Paul, I'm starting to get this. Yeah, this is why we make the big money. Oh yeah, these are uh, these captain are, paper. These are plate. These are plates. Oh hey 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 hey, those aren't plates. Those aren't plates. Those are plates. Oh. All right, I told you big folds that go all the way down. There's your big folds. That's that's definitely it. Now, these are going to be damaged a little bit because I cut through. Like, I, I cut. You this, cut if I'd have known, like, if we did another one, I could do it just above and we'd be cool. I'd have cut just along the bottom. But. Yeah. So these are all the positive plate. Oh, hey. I didn't cut that. No, it cut itself. It, that, that's that was, where it blew itself off. And there's like. There's a lot of goop there. That's fun. So this is where the capacitor failed on its own. 
Yeah. Because I only cut in, you know, a quarter inch all the way around, maybe half, but. There is actually a gap right there. See, I can get my finger. Actually, I don't want to do that because it's a sharp metal edge. But yeah, there's a gap there. All right, so this, one, this shredded. Ouch. Yeah, there's a little bit of a gap. See, there's bundles. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a bundle, that's a bundle, that's a bundle. You can see them really clear. On, on my end, you can. Your end's all, this is where the cat failed was over on this side. But on my end, you can see bundle, 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 bundle. Yes. Snake! Okay, what do you, how do you want to do this? Um, okay, I got a suggestion, but Yanko will like it. Knock it on its side and pull them out the end. Grab the angle grinder and cut another, just lightly go in about there. Cut a plate off? Well, no, just cut the just cut all the way around and then lift a ring. No, 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 no. Cut cut around on the bottom, and then cut up on the two sides, and it'll just fall apart. You want to do that? That's the easy way. I'm going to make. I'd, I'd do it right on the corners. I'd, I'd cut this corner vertical up. That corner, boom. Just do the four corners vertically up, and then the sides will all come right apart. We can do that. All right. And that's that's the least cutting. Just. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Where's no, the least cutting is to cut halfway up the outsides and then loop at the bottom. Because no matter what, because I'm not going to go all the way down to the table. I'm going right. to go down like this far. Yeah. So I'll go down this far, which will give us enough to hold everything up. And I'll cut two verticals and then loop the bottom, and we're good. Okay. All right, I got it. I'm going to need a new pair of gloves because I've been all up in the inside thing. Yeah. All right. Here's a neat little trick that you can do at home. This is the old school World War II era quick and dirty test to tell if your oil is PCB oil or not. PCB oil has an interesting chemical property. It doesn't burn. So you take a paper towel and you soak up some oil. Get right down in there. You just run it right down the corner. It's got I, it's sharp edge. I can't really get down in there. There you go. Like that? Yeah. Well, let that, it sit for a that second. That feels maybe. lovely. Okay, we've got some goop on the thing. So if that's not burning, is that telling us that's PCB? If it doesn't burn, it's probably, it's not definitive. I mean, we're not doing serious science here, but as a rule, PCB doesn't burn. So if the oil doesn't burn, it's probably PCB. Uh, hey, Paul. It's not burning. Oh, it is burning. I think that's more of the thing than the oil, but we'll see. No, that's, no, that's, that's, that's the oil. That's, okay, that's, that's the definitely... oil. Cool, we're not right. dealing we're with not PCB. We're not PCB. And judging by the color and stink, we're probably dealing with fish oil. Oh, God. Wonderful. Just ducky. Tasty. All okay. right, so that should answer the... 10,000 comments we're going to give is like, oh my god, it's PCB oil. No, it's not PCB oil, it's fish oil. This is where we're going to go to a really cool musical montage, like an 80s video, while I do all kinds of cool stuff. And when we're back, it'll just magically be half an hour into the future. All right, here we go. Do a reveal on that. We're, we're, well, we, yeah, we should. We'll peel it off the front. You want to climb up on the table? No, not really. Come on, Paul, get into the game I here. Don't, I'm not climbing up I'm on not, no table. That's it. I can't since the big war. I can't get my leg up like that no more. You know, the there was a time back a when. For all the right, parts. spin this around 180. 180. Oh, you want to? Because I got it? I got dangly crap off the back here. Up. Oh, I'm gonna hear bang. Here we're gonna second. hear bang in a second. I, I heard it down the other. All right. Oh. Why do we have two? Why do? That's the catch. Oh, there's two. There's I, two. There, somebody was convenient. Was somebody can't count. Some, no, somebody was being nice and got us an extra one. Careful okay. of the wire. You ready? Okay, there's the catch bucket. Okay, we're gonna need a big screwdriver to pry. Or not? Don't need a big screwdriver. All you need is a. Okay, drum. wait a minute. There it goes. Ah. There you go. Tasty. 
You didn't go all the way through. I didn't have to. I just needed to go down. It's the paper, I think. Yeah, it's the paper. It's the paper. All right, here. There. Nope, it's this corner. You drive. Oh, yeah, we're so smooth. That ain't doing anything. Moved. There you go. It's still smoking! <laughs> okay, pull the back side off. Ah, I'm on my wire. Hang on. Ready? Oh, that's tasty. Okay, you kind of kind of didn't do your job over on this side. Hey, I didn't see you jumping up to grab the angle grinder. You were having so much fun. Oh, yeah, it was great. It was great. That's all like... It's work. like being 16 all over again. It's fabulous. It's the greatest time of my life. Okay, that's most of the oil. You got it? It's a big old hunk of them. Smack Ooh. it on the side. Now that was Smack it like you got a power! Like a boss! There you go. All right, now we're into the chewy center. Yes, okay, now there's the straps that are tying all the positives together. Yeah, I got no straps on this side. This is completely this is the side that ablated. Got blown apart. Yeah, blown it's, apart. it's totally gone. I can pull the tops of these right apart. Look at that. Yeah, on this Comes side. Right okay, easy, easy. On this side, here's the, here's the conductor that was on the top, and it's a strap that goes across from side to side. Yep. Now, I've got yeah, this one. Can, this, this got cut, so we can actually open it. You can see the, the layers here. That, that I just tore that. that. That wasn't laid in there like that. But look, we can peel this away. There's, there's really paper-thin plastic, and we can peel into the layers. We can show there's the outer wrap. And then inside, we've got really thin, oh wow, that's pretty. It's like copper with metal, almost looks like gold. Like trying to grab it and pick up is not working. Yeah, good luck with that. Just grab it in there. Pull that right on out. Once you get the first one out, the rest will be easy though. I know, well there's gonna be a strap on the bottom. Why? Because the negative terminal. Negative terminals are in the bottom, okay. It may be attached. There oh, you go. There you go. Okay. Now you can. Are we on? Yeah, they can see us on the overhead. Hold on. No, there is no strap on the bottom. It it's got to be like the outside of the. Uh... I don't know. I'm just peeling it in, revealing its chewy center. And it's all just layer after layer of that. It's. This started out like. As a long run, and then they rolled it up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's lovely. That's that's why we make the big money, Paul. Do you want to take one of these apart? Because like these are, we're now into like nice ones. The tops well, no. are totally blown to hell. The question but. is, where exactly? Or did multiple of these fail? Or I think the whole this strap at the top is what failed. It was the main bus on top. Okay, are you saying that if we get these... Because all this, this gunge here, mm -hmm. that's not it's debris from me cutting it. This was above where I cut. I cut down here. This is all the shreddy stuff on top. Mm -hmm. That used to be the primary rail. You can see it's all bladed out and toasted. Right, are you saying that if we separate out the next four plates, then the whole rest of this is actually still good cap? If you could... Really yeah, see? Well, in theory. We've, we've cut through the... Yeah, we've, we've shorted it out. And all the way across on the bottom, too. But before that, yeah, that side was still good cap. Like, if you went... Oh, take them one at yeah, a time. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, here. Get that out. Oh, yeah. Loving my job, Paul. Living the dream. Living the dream. Oh, and it's fuller. That's, oh, hang on. Yeah, there's all kinds of tasty things down there. Oh, yeah. That's fun. This is neat. This is my job. Yeah. yeah. You, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah. This is fun stuff, man. All right. Now, that is still a good capacitor. Well, with the exception of the lateral damage. Slit yeah. slit on the side yeah. over here. But, but that's, that's a capacitor. Right there. I don't think of anything I can think of. Well, your angle grinder caught the top. Yeah. 
So, but, but there it is. We've, we've opened it up. We've learned how it works. We've explored the construction. And we've determined the cause of death. We have performed a proper autopsy. And okay. we're covered in goop. Yes. Yeah! I just want to play in its blood a little. Capacity uh. blood. Kali! Kali! Shut the air! Umti Dekti Kalima! What the heck does that mean? You don't know that? I'm not, it's not familiar. What All right, mean? viewer contest. Comment, actually, let's go to the gallery. Who is it? Indiana Jones. Thank you. Indiana. Okay. It's Minnie Jones, the dude with the heart. Is that the guy where he reaches in and grabs Indy, the your heart! Your heart! Yeah! I remember the scene, yes. Wow, okay. I didn't remember what he said. And see, now Hulu hits for that video are going to go up like 500% for the next week. All right, so uh, I think that's it. Anything you want to add and wrap up here? No, I think that's it. We, we've, we've made a horrendous mess and cleaned it up three times, or had it cleaned up. Thank you, crew. Yes. Got to be nice to the crew. We love the crew. You're all not fired! Again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Paul Kidwell. And uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, get involved. Go to thegeekgroup.org where you can become a member and actually be one of these awesome people hanging out here and get to take things apart and explore this because now that it's all done after the video, these guys can take this home and play with it themselves. It tastes like candy. I don't think so. Really big fish sticks? Very smelly, old, <laughs> gnarly fish sticks. Ah, oh, come on! Just like great. You could take some home. Things. Your mom would love it if you had one of these on a the kitchen counter. Yeah. All right. If you're not a member of the Geek Group yet, you should be. Go to thegeekgroup.org where you can get involved, and you can also buy the nifty crushed quarters that we're making with Project Stomper. We are selling crushed quarters in order to raise money for the Geek Group, and you're going to learn about all that in an upcoming video. So yeah. you guys have fun, and we will see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.